Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Chuck Finn's Play, Sonic, Sonic Adventure Part 3. We are now in... We are now going to the casino after successfully beating Robotnik and completing Windy Valley, but sadly losing a Chaos Emerald due to Tails' stupidity. Uh, you can see that it is now even, or sunset, and the casino should be open after we gain a uh, power-up that we need. This is the first Sonic game to have different upgrades that you can use, uh, that you can get for your characters. And one of the upgrades for Sonic is, there was a car here that I forgot to show off, so we couldn't go down here in the sewers just yet. But the power up here, oh, this, this is easy to get up here, just hold down the uh, jump button to jump up higher, and you gotta hold it down longer so you'll get higher. Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Uh, now for these power-ups, there are two primary power-ups and several hidden power-ups. Uh, that aren't necessary to beating the game but the two primary ones you have to use to be able to complete that character's story uh, and I'll show off one of the uh, hidden hidden power-ups in the uh, hotel I needed the light speed dash to gain to gain this power-up so we'll just run in here really, really quickly and as you can see, the uh, the light from the light speed dash being can activate these buttons, which is very useful. And you want to be quick while while doing this. But this is the crystal ring. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. And all of these uh, power-ups will be seen on the cutscenes, uh, no matter where uh, where you are on that character's uh, storyline. The the power-ups will always be seen. So from now on, Sonic will have this ring uh, ring on his arm. You don't need this this one. It's just to uh, it'll greatly speed up the light speed dash. As you can see, the light spheres change to yellow from blue and it's a lot faster uh, but anyway all right so this is the casino level this upper area I guess the casino floor there isn't too much to do you can hit these slot machines to gain rings the goal here is to gain 50 ring or uh, 500 rings and go to the uh, let's see the, the vault yeah, this is the vault. And just deposit the rings to uh, gain that Chaos Emerald up there. We can't jump up there. We have to deposit 500 rings, as I said. And uh, and uh, have, have that go up to, or create a pile of coins to allow us to go up there. Alright, so there are too many, too many games to gain rings. One is Pinball which is this one and a, uh, a pinball and uh, I was going to say sli a pinball and slot machine and a pinball and card is the second one I'll try to show off both of them now the easiest thing to do is just uh, if you have under 50 rings and you fall down and you lose all of your balls you will fall to an underground section that kind of uh, lengthens the level a little bit more and I hope I don't uh, I hope it's actually under a hundred rings but it probably isn't but this really isn't the best place to go after rings okay so I guess it is under a hundred but yeah this is the this is the best place to go after rings uh, you'll gain the most rings here but it is also very dangerous as you can see these spiked balls are here and 
Uh, so you do have to be careful, you know, this is, you just can't run through this area and hope to be safe. But Tails can collect these ring boxes for you, so if you do miss one, as I missed one back there, and Tails does follow you, that you should be able to uh, gain a lot of them back. You can fall back down this uh, this uh, fan area if you want to collect a lot of these ring boxes. Which really is best, it'll make it a lot faster. But I will show off the card and pinball section. I would say that first area that I that I bypassed is safer. Just because it doesn't have uh I think it'll has two of these spiked balls where this one has uh at least four running along this section. And it's a lot faster, you don't have to go up another uh oh yeah. You don't have to Oh crap, no, really? Damn it. Wow. I think the things may reset. I'm not 100% sure. If they do or don't. Wow, that sucks. Alright, so Sonic will shake himself off from the water in the sewer. And here's another cool thing that I'll show off. In the shower, if you stand underneath the shower and it turns on... Uh, Sonic will wash his quills and the rest of his body. Alright, and you can leave at any time. There are rings in the individual st shower stalls, but that takes a little bit more time than... Uh, it's just one ring, so it really doesn't matter. Alright, so this is card and pinball. Uh, this is a little bit different than you have to uh, match the cards kind of like in poker to get the maximum amount, amount of rings possible and this is all uh, nights into dreams theme uh, you can see some of the the uh, girl and at the top right up there you can see the boy from nights into dreams another Sega game that came out around the same time as Sonic di uh, Sonic Adventure did which also has a HD port on the uh, Sonic and or uh, the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Uh, there are two sections in this area, unlike the pinball and uh, pinball and slot machine. I'm not sure if if you can see in the top right of the screen. There's a, a doorway, which will lead up into there, but you have to make sure you're going fast enough to be able to enter, uh, to go through the hole. Uh, as you can see, I'm not having too much luck here. I'll probably deposit these rings and see if I can't go back down into the sewers. As I said, that is the best place to get rings if all of the ring boxes are still there. If not, uh, I'm going to have to do the slot machine. And I'll probably end up cutting a lot of that out. But I am trying to get up to that other area. Let's see. Well, I'll just go ahead and fall and see what that does for me. Probably not a whole lot, but hey, it's worth trying. Yep, alright, so you will, if you do have more than 100 rings, you will drop out in front of the vault, and I'll show off what the vault does really quickly, you just push it, push the buttons to make sure the arms can grab you, and just run along, doing that, let's see, we'll go back down to the pinball, where is that at, here we go, slot and pinball, and we'll see if we can't go back underneath the sewer. This is actually turning out to be a little longer than I had hoped it would be. I can usually get this done in five minutes if I don't lose all of my rings. That's a very uh, rare for, thing for me to do to get hit while in, in the sewers. 
But anyway, uh... We'll just see, uh, the different, uh, faces on the slot machine will gain you, will allow you to get different things. Uh, different bonuses like the tails. Okay, that's good. So, if you do lose your rings, you can, uh, gain them back through the sewer, which is, which is very good, I'm glad. So I can just run through here really quickly. But make sure you have, but remember, you do have to have under a hundred, what the? Have to have under a hundred rings to uh, enter the sewer if you're uh, playing on a slot machine. And I'm and I'm not 100 percent sure, but maybe the card pinball might do it as well. Oh no, nope, back up, back up. Uh, but anyway, the uh, like the t if you get all tails, you'll get a a buffer or like a bu uh, a shield that will keep you from losing a ball for a certain amount of time which is very useful especially if you are playing the slot machine but if you're not it's kind of a pain especially if you don't mean to start the uh, start the pinball up and it is very much like in casino night zone based on luck what you'll get it's really the best way that I do it is just kind of to spam the uh, action button just to hurry up to make it you know to pop the faces up really quickly. And usually I'm uh, lucky by doing that, but not always, sadly. <laughs> all right, so this should be enough rings after I get all the rings through here. Maybe I'll have to hit a few slot machines in on the floor or uh, invade the bathroom stalls I'm not 100% sure just yet come on yeah that does suck especially if you're trying to go after the uh, time trial having uh, Sonic shake himself off I believe you can bypa bypass that by immediately jumping onto the oh, by jumping onto the um, Okay, I'll, I'll remember just immediately jumping onto the ladder. This probably will end up not being enough. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, I uh, thank you for watching. The challenge of the video is how many rings did I collect from both the uh, slot and pinball and cart and pinball? Yeah, not bad. I uh, thank you for watching. There should be a cutscene that, yeah, there is a cutscene that will pop up. I'll show that off and then that will be the end of the part. It's a fairly long cutscene, so hope I didn't run it quite out of time just yet. You can see the crystal. You can see the crystal. You can see the crystal ring on Sonic's wrist. Uh, and his uh, light speed shoes. Oh man, what happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's safe. And that guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic, we need to get... Uh, Alright, so there is a cameo of Cream the Rabbit, uh, which we'll see in advance, too, for the Game Boy. But again, I think for one of the videos, how many rings I get out of the small and pinball? I think